from covering a tiny area to spanning continents, the purpose of the computer network generally remains the same, to share information and resources. Hello, and welcome to five basic facts about computer networking, the very thing that is making this video possible. A computer network is nothing more than an electronic delivery system. And like any successful delivery system, addressing plays an important role. For every device that connects to a network, two addresses are needed. The MAC address, which is also called the physical address, is used at the local level of the network. And the IP address, which is known as a logical address, is used for transmitting across networks. Ethernet is the most common version of the computer network. It was invented in 1973 by Bob Metcalf while working for Xerox. There are two main forms of Ethernet networks. The local area network or LAN tends to be small, rarely exceeding a few hundred devices. The wide area network or WAN, on the other hand, can consist of multiple LANs. Our internet is in fact a wide area network. One thing of note, wide area networks can incorporate technologies that are not necessarily Ethernet. Let's take a closer look at the local area network. Modern LANs usually take the shape of a spoke hub distribution paradigm, also known as a star topology. At the center is a switch, which all local devices must connect to, either through wired or wireless connections. Initially, switches simply repeat the transmissions to all connections, leaving it up to devices to determine what was theirs and what wasn't. Today's switches operate at a second level of the network, using devices' MAC addresses to direct transmissions to their destinations. Moving beyond the local area network, we enter the wide area network. Here, it's not a matter of connecting devices together, but entire networks. WANs are considered a third or internet level for computer networks, and the router stands as one of its central components. With a router, multiple LANs are joined together where devices' IP addresses are used for directing traffic on a much broader scale. The TCP IP suite has been the foundation for computer networks since the 1980s. On it lies our modern communications system. To grasp TCP IP and have a deeper understanding of computer networking, we can turn to two models. The OSI model, which is the oldest, is divided into seven layers starting from the application, moving all the way down to the physical. The newer TCP IP model combines the top three layers and the bottom two to create a more condensed version. But regardless of which you use, both models will provide a deeper insight into how data is prepared and transmitted. So have you ever had to set up a network before? Even if it's just at home, leave a comment about your experience below. And if you like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.